Hello, I'm Maria Barantini, Pastoral Associate of Children's Catechesis at Prince of Peace. This is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Times. What liturgical color is worn during Ordinary Times? Green. So make sure when you are at Mass or when you are watching Mass virtually, you notice the liturgical color green. Find all the different spots in the church where the green is used. This week, the Gospel reading for June 21st is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 26 through 33. Matthew is the first Gospel in the New Testament, so you can find it by going to the New Testament and flipping to the very first book in the New Testament. I usually don't read the entire Gospel, but this week it's a bit shorter, and I think that it'll help everyone if we read the entire thing before we discuss it. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs on, of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. In this passage, Jesus is telling the disciples and us to have courage under persecution. The disciples are afraid and worried because they will and are being persecuted for being followers of Christ. Jesus reminds them and us to fear God more than man. Jesus never said it would be easy to follow him. He never said it would be easy to follow him. Christ reveals the dis that despite evil men's resistance of the gospel, nothing will be able to stop the gospel from being proclaimed. So nothing will be able to stop the spread of Jesus and the words of Jesus and the story of Jesus and believing in Jesus. Nothing's going to be able to stop that. He urges the apostles to not worry about their earthly life. What matters is that God cares for us and will ultimately prevail against the evil of this world. And I want to say that again. God cares for us and will ultimately prevail against the evils of this world. And we need to remember that. We will face some difficult times as his followers, but we should not be afraid. In this passage, it tells us three times, do not be afraid. And we're not going to talk about fear this video because there's another one that you can go back and watch that talks just about fear. We need to trust God will not abandon us and will take care of us. We are called to openly share our faith with others. And that can be scary. But God is calling us, you and me, to spread the word to others, to spread his word to others. God calls us just as Jesus called the disciples, to do what God wants us to do. Sometimes it's difficult to do what God wants. Sometimes other people will tease us and embarrass us for doing the right thing. But we know we are worth so much to God that he is always with us, calming our fears and giving us the courage to do what we know is right. Sometimes we let the opinions of others prevent us from doing the right thing. We need the reminder that God, that what God thinks about us is more important than what the world thinks about us. We need the reminder that what God thinks about us is more important than what the world thinks about us. God loves us so much. Do you know how many hairs are on your head? Have you ever tried to count how many hairs are on your head? Imagine me trying to count how many hairs are on my head. It would be impossible, right? But this passage says, even all the hairs of your head are counted. 
God knows how many hairs are on your head. Isn't that amazing? It's crazy how much God loves you. He knows how many hairs are on your head. Imagine how much God loves you, that he knows exactly how many hairs are on your head. In this passage, Jesus tells us, Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Back then, they sold sparrows in the market for small coins. It equates to about five cents for two sparrows. So you would have paid five cents for two little birds. And, two, and poor people would buy them to eat them. But Jesus tells us that God knows when a sparrow falls. So he knows when the lowliest creature, the smallest creature, falls. And we are worth more than many of those sparrows. If God has his eye on the little sparrow, he has his eyes on you, his humans, that were created in his image and likeness. God is watching over us. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. If he knows when a sparrow falls, he knows when you fall and knows the needs of your heart. There's a contemporary Christian singer named Jason Gray who has a song called Sparrows. And I challenge you to go and find that with your parents' permission and just listen to the words. I love words of songs that teach us things. And this is one of those songs that teaches me something and it teaches me another verse of the Bible to remember and how to remember it and all the things that are said in the Bible. It's one of those songs that teaches me something and reminds me of something. The song says, not a field or flower escapes his notice. Oh, even the sparrow knows. The sparrows know that God notices you and you are important and you matter to God and your choice whether you follow God or follow the world matters. Here's the important question you need to ask yourself when you hear this week's gospel reading. When you read it yourself to yourself today or tomorrow, when you read this gospel reading, I want you to ask yourself, where is your heart? Are you going to worry about the world or God? Whatever happens to us, we will always find strength in God's love and care. Keep your focus on God and remember what God thinks about us is more important than what the world thinks about us.